the European Prospective Investigation into Cancer and Nutrition, or EPIC for short, followed even more people than the other studies I've looked into, though for a shorter period, 12 years. When you compare it to the American studies, there's a striking difference in their findings. Now, these are the results of the so-called EPIC study, and it really was EPIC. The researchers followed half a million people in 10 countries for more than 12 years, and their conclusions are very different to the Harvard study. They found that eating moderate amounts of red meat had no effect on mortality. In fact, they conclude that a low but not zero consumption of meat might be beneficial for health. This is understandable as meat is an important source of protein, iron, zinc, B vitamins, vitamin A and essential fatty acids. In other words, eating small amounts of red meat seemed to be better for you than being a vegetarian. So, the Harvard study found a modest association between moderate red meat consumption and early death. The European study didn't. The red meat argument is slightly less clear at the moment. We wouldn't expect two studies to have identical results. However, in general, when studies have different results, it can be difficult to pinpoint the exact reason for the difference. So we're not as confident that there is a real association between red meat and early death. And the fact is that observational studies like these can never really prove that specific dietary habits cause a disease. Well, these types of studies can find associations between dietary components, for example, red meat and disease. But we can't absolutely prove for certain that it is the dietary component that is causing the disease. In light of the varied results of these long-term studies, just how much red meat do the experts I've met think we should be eating? If one is able and comfortable to have no red meat at all is uh, a good thing. Right. However, um, you know, the population is not going to become vegetarian. No. Um, and so I think one starts with the concept of meatless days. It looks like having red meat quite infrequently, uh, say a, a once a month, is really an optimal diet. It's good to think of it uh, as a special event. Like, I don't know if you consider it here, but in New England, lobster is a special event. It's not something that we have on an everyday basis. We think that, the, that lean meat in particular uh, is not a hazard to health if it's consumed in moderation. From the evidence so far, what I conclude is that eating a lot of red meat every day is not a great idea. But a modest amount, a couple of days a week, is unlikely to do you much harm. Now, before meat eaters go off rejoicing, there is a sting in the tail, because both the EPIC study and the Harvard study found that eating moderate amounts of processed meat, that is, bacon, sausages, salami, did have a significant effect on your risk of getting heart disease and cancer.